I am always with you. I was there from the time you were born. I stood in your delivery room staring down at you before you could even open your eyes to see me. Your family and doctors couldn't see me there in the corner, watching you with cloudy eyes, but I was there from the time you were born and followed you home. I was with you always, your constant companion. You played with your toys alone while I stared from all angles and nearby mirrors. My matted, clotted hair with oily sweat that hung off my dented forehead like glue. I accompanied you all the time, drifting behind your mother's car on your ride to preschool. You thought you were alone in the bathroom. But I was on the other side of the door, wind whistling through the bruised hole in my throat. My arms twisted and hanging in their sockets as I stood, hunched, on the other side of the shower curtain. I wait and follow you. I follow you and drift behind you. I'm not seen. I'm almost non-existent in light. You never saw me that morning as I sat across from you at the breakfast table. A shiny, red clot hanging from my empty tooth socket as I gapped grotesquely at you. I wondered sometimes if you knew I'm there. I think you are aware, but you'll never understand just how close I am. I spent hours of your day doing nothing more than breathing, gagging really, in your ear. I craved to be close to you, to always wrap my crippled arms around your neck. I lie near you every single night, cloudy eyes staring at your ceiling underneath your bed, at your sleeping face in the dark. Yeah, you caught me staring occasionally. Your parents came running down to your room one night when you screamed. You were just beginning to talk, so you were only able to cry out, man, man in my room. You thought you'd never forget the sight of me, with my collapsed jaw hanging to my chest, swinging back and forth. I sank back into your closet and your mother was unable to see me, though you pointed and pointed and pointed. You thought you'd never forget when they left that same night. You saw the closet door crack so softly and me crawling across the floor to your bed on all fours, shambling and jerking movements as I pushed myself under your bed on dislocated limbs. You learned a new word for me. Boogeyman. Not quite the monster you thought I was. I'm just waiting and following you. Always. Stroking your face with my knotted fingers as you sleep. You'll see me again soon. Any day now. I'm coming. Blunt and, and brutal. One day you'll walk across the road. And I believe I'll plow you into something with a loud roar and a screech. You'll roll on the pavement, roll under wheels, blunt force metal fenders, and, and my fingers touching your face again and again. You'll stare up from the cold pavement with cloudy eyes. You're matted, clotted hair hangs in your face and your jaw is unhinged and swaying against your chest. You'll see, noticing me approaching. No one else will see me. You will stare past them into my eyes and I'll leer down at you. For the first time in our life, something like a smile will come over my face. You'll swear you're looking into the mirror as clotted bits of scarlet bubble foam from our mouths. I'll lean down, past the doctors and the ogling people, and pick you up into my crooked arms. Our faces will touch, my wings will unfurl, and then you'll have to follow me. And I'm always with you, for I am your guardian angel. I am the cameraman for Mitch McCallum. This is a cover-up for extraterrestrials. They are here among us, and they are in the Nevada- I told you to stop asking questions.
this could change everything because of how different it was. And my main concern with it getting into my first impressions is I, I was kind of scared or kind of concerned.